How could being a chef at one of the most popular Japanese hibachi style chains in the world improve your love life? Keep watching for a look into the unique skill set of a Benihana chef. According to The Hustle, Benihana founder Rocky Aoki, who was previously a wrestler and an ice cream man, was known as an eccentric guy. It made sense that he wanted his restaurants to have some extra pizzazz. Aoki reportedly couldn't even cook himself, but that seemed to be beside the point. In an effort to win over American diners, he banned any food that was slippery or slimy and made a point of hiring, for mental floss, Japanese cooks who had learned how to speak English and knew how to bring showmanship to their cooking. He firmly believed that American diners would be drawn in by his new restaurant's flair for the dramatic. As First We Feast notes, the loud, loose dining format was tailor-made for large groups and birthday parties, and the built-in noise level made it safe for parents to take a passel of unruly kids without the fear of getting shushed. If you are looking to become a teppanyaki master behind a Benihana grill, you can start by applying online via the Benihana website, which lists all current job openings, including those for chefs. If you're selected after your in-person interview, there is a five-week program that shows you some of the basics, including, quote, advanced knife skills, scratch cooking mastery, and showmanship. Those with zero experience are out of luck. Benihan is not looking for complete newbies. A minimum of one year in a professional kitchen setting is required. What are some of the tricks you might learn? While there doesn't appear to be an exact format each chef must follow, Keaton Patty, writing at Medium, broke down the most common moves we've come to expect from a Benihana chef, including clanking spatula play, flashy egg cracking, and fried rice served in the shape of a heart. There is also, of course, the celebrated onion volcano, in which a heap of volcano oil is poured into the center of a pyramid-style stack of onion rings. The chef lights a flame down the middle and voila! Benihana's answer to Mount Vesuvius erupts into flames to the applause of impressed and hungry customers. Like most careers, you don't truly get the hang of things through training alone. It comes from real life on your feet practice. One Redditor attested, I'm a hibachi chef. The only way to practice is to do it. When you start, you cook employee meals every day. The heat zones and the portions are the hardest part to get down. When it comes to tricks and throwing stuff, I just took my fork and spatula home and practiced. In a separate thread, another Redditor backed up that claim, posting, It's really a lot of on-the-job training. You have to do a lot of practicing on your own time. And honestly, you learn a lot from making mistakes in front of customers. It's worth noting that the Benihana training program isn't the only way to get a shot behind the grill. Some staffers start at the bottom rung of the kitchen ladder and work their way up. One Redditor shared that he began working at Benihana as a dishwasher and was finally getting ready to start cooking on his first day as a chef proudly posing in his white coat and red chef's hat. If you're seeking romance while working as a Benihana chef, the job could be ripe with opportunities. One chef said on Reddit, I was propositioned a few times, but never followed through. The city I worked in was a vacation city, so there were a lot of lonely ladies who wanted to have fun with the chef. Still, they do need to watch it when it comes to flirting. There's no doubt that Benihana chefs want to avoid crossing the line and starting a potential fight in their place of business. One Redditor recalled, One time a lady asked me to throw a shrimp down her shirt. I kept refusing, but she kept insisting, so I obliged. Needless to say, the woman's husband was not happy about it. Anthony, I just can't believe on the most important night of our lives, you brought me to a place where I have to watch my food get cooked in front of me. Accidents are usually taken in stride. But Benihana was once sued when a former customer claimed that an incident turned deadly. A woman had been dining at a Benihana in New York in 2001 with her husband when, she asserted, he ducked to avoid being hit by a flying piece of shrimp. According to the New York Times, she alleged that the evasive maneuver resulted in a neck injury, which then required surgery. Post-surgery, he later died from blood poisoning. She sued Benihana for $16 million in damages for pain and suffering. Per NBC News, the plaintiff's attorney argued that Benihana and only Benihana set in motion the forces that led to his death. Benihana's legal team, however, asserted there was no substantial proof of that. The jury, for their part, reportedly took less than two hours to reach a conclusion, deciding in favor of Benihana. 
According to ZipRecruiter, hibachi chefs are paid, on average, a little over $18 an hour. Certain Benihana locations may also pay chefs a percentage of the revenue from the tables they cook for. An Indeed user posted in 2019, working on a table-to-table -table basis at 7%, you can make really good money if you are motivated. If you work at a unit that pays you for the amount of tables you cook, you will be better off. But it's the bartenders who really clean up, one former employee revealed on Reddit, with some making as much as $100,000 a year thanks to tips. According to one comment on the career website Glassdoor, chefs at an Alaskan outpost of the chain made 9% of the bill in tips per meal. Even if the customer didn't tip them directly, servers were required to share that amount to ensure that the chefs didn't end up getting stiffed. As you can imagine, this type of scenario can lead to plenty of resentment. So much so that, in 2016, one server filed a class action lawsuit against Benihana, claiming that because they were forced to share tips with the chefs, which they alleged violated labor laws, they suffered over $30,000 in lost wages, according to TMZ. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh! One. That was one. Once you're a Benihana chef, you've got a pretty valuable set of skills, tricks, and showmanship to bring with you anywhere else you may cook in the future. You can always return to your old gig at Benihana, too. One former Benihana chef, a 70-year-old woman named Lee, returned to hers due to the shortage of chefs caused by the COVID pandemic, SFGate reported. Former chefs were even offered a $250 signing bonus to come back. The reason Benihana is extra motivated to woo former chefs back, rather than hire new ones, has everything to do with the amount of time it takes to train one. With the worker shortage in the restaurant industry, places like Benihana, whose chefs need to be as well-trained and entertaining as they are in meal preparation, are more in demand and harder to find than ever, according to The Takeout. Benihana has loads of famous fans, including comedian Tracy Morgan, who has waxed rhapsodic about it in his own endearing way. He told New York Magazine's Grub Street in 2012, This is my family. These people know me. This is fancy, man. They cook the food right in front of you. The Midtown Manhattan location in particular, he added, is popular with his well-known group of pals. Everybody comes here. LL comes here, Busta comes here, The Rock comes here. Everybody comes to this Benihana. Like the rest of us, celebrities have been quick to catch on that Benihana is a great pick if you're dining with small children. Before their 2016 split, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie brought their own small brood while in London, according to Pop Sugar. And while Benihana will cater to the stars, it doesn't kowtow to alleged rude or ridiculous behavior. When Tori Spelling sued Benihana over a 2014 visit with her family, in which she claims she slipped on a grill and injured herself, requiring hospitalization, Benihana shot back. According to the Daily Mail, the restaurant sniped that Spelling had failed to, quote, conduct herself as a reasonable guest. The restaurant demanded she pay Benihana's legal fees for the trouble. The two parties later agreed to mediation. For Benihana chefs, patience is a virtue, especially when it comes to the restaurant's Be the Chef program. For a few hundred dollars, a trained Benihana culinary expert will teach their student tricks of the grill, including how to pull off Benihana's widely beloved fried rice. After that, the student will have the chance to cook a meal for their friends, finishing the program with their own apron, chef's hat, photograph, and teppanyaki chef certificate to commemorate the occasion. As for the cheesy jokes, they probably have to improvise their own. Throughout the process, your Benihana teacher is right there to help get you out of trouble. Many who have completed Be the Chef have wonderful things to say. One proud parent, who gifted her son the program for his 16th birthday, said on TripAdvisor, the chef worked with him for over two hours, teaching him how to cook hibachi style. When I arrived for dinner with the family two hours later, I was handed a picture, and my son was dressed in full chef clothing with the big red hat included. I was amazed that he was given so much attention. Looks like you got a little Nikiri knife action going there. No, it's soba. Yeah, I bet you wish you had a Nikiri, though. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite restaurant chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.